So today I'm making rabbit skin glue. All you need is the glue granules and some deionized water. You can use tap water. Um, the water here in Staffordshire is fine, but I prefer to use deionized water. It's just, um, I don't know, you, you get the exact same thing every time. Uh, this is from um, Halfords. Uh, any car place will sell um, this type of water. Now the glue isn't made of rabbits anymore. Um, it's still animals, but we don't eat rabbits anymore, so there's hardly any. So I am making an eight to one glue. So the one is always the rabbit skin glue, and the larger number is always the water. So in my case, I need to make an eight to one. So I'm using these containers. It uh, just occurred to me the other day that there are people alive who might not even know what these containers are. Anyway, one, glue. And then eight. Right, it's that simple. Um, I'm going to let that soak overnight and we'll come back to it tomorrow. So the glue's had overnight to soak. Um, the granules have all swollen up really nicely. Now, traditionally you'd put this in a bain-marie, um, a pot of water, and then put this pot in the water. Um, but for speed, I usually use a microwave. The one thing you really have to be careful with, with rabbit skin glue, is not to go over 60 degrees C. It'll destroy the glue if you go over that, so you might as well throw it away if you have boiled it or, or you know, gone past that number. So I'm just going to put this in the microwave so you can see what it looks like once it's nice and warm. There we go, everything is now dissolved, it's just liquid with no lumps in it. Just going to test, see what temperature it is, make sure I haven't overcooked it. Right now, I left that in this uh, airtight container in the fridge overnight. Now you always heat up glue to use it because you need to make it liquid. At room temperature it's a jelly. Now it will go off. This will probably last two weeks if you keep it in the fridge. Now if it starts to smell, now if you smell, smell the rabbit skin glue. Animal glues aren't great smelling wise but get used to what that smells like. It's not really unpleasant. You'll know when it goes off it stinks. Never use it when it goes off. Never use it if it's liquid at room temperature. If it's liquid at room temperature I think you're going to smell it from the other side of the room so just throw it away. We're 48 degrees so yeah we didn't we didn't hit that 60 that's good. Um, so I can use this straight away. Um, I'm actually going to make some gesso with this. So. I'm just going to put it to one side, but always remember, airtight container and in the fridge. I think actually I've got some that's a jelly. I make quite a lot of different strength glues, so I have to write the number on so I know what it is. This is a 12 to 1. It's just about coming to the end of two weeks now, so there's not much left in the pot. But 
condensation. So it's a jelly. And if you pick some out, you know it's just it's just like a just like jelly. So that's what it should look like coming out the fridge. And you heat that up and then you can use it. <laughs>